With his shoulder bulging and his hand struggling to carry the weight of what has not been identified yet, 31-year-old John Omawot lies in the shed of Uganda Cancer Institute, hopeless. The tall slender man with a pale face that explains the excruciating pain Omawot goes through every day of his life. From here, as a pain. From where? From here, as a pain. Mm. For some uh, one year, then after one year, he comes up to here. Covered by a light cloth and blanket, the father of 10 has not yet discovered what he's suffering from as he still undergoes various tests at the Uganda Cancer Institute. He is in great pain. I'm feeling it too, 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 too much pain, as you see me, and it's bleeding almost every time. Omawat has left his wife devastated because of his current situation. She cannot help but cry all the time. Too poor to seek medical attention, Omawat cannot afford to pay his medical bills, yet he is required to buy his own medicine. The swelling on his shoulder keeps bleeding every day and this requires him to buy bandages all the time. Unfortunately, he has run out of money. He cannot meet his medical bills anymore. Omawat says not even his family can help because they are too poor to give a hand. Sometimes Omawat goes hungry. He lives at God's mercy with nothing much to do. So, sometimes I will sleep without eating because I don't have money. Even the family members cannot help because there is nothing to let to get them. He finds hard time walking from one place to another, meaning that he needs to be rendered support. The swelling on Omod's shoulder started as something minor in 2011, which he did not give so much attention. When it persisted, they went to a nearby clinic where they were only given Panadol. The simple tiny pimple grew bigger, which has today turned into a threat to his life. I was coming here so I like a little wound like that, eh? so we never even bothered there. Eh? Mm. So from there you will see that it's continuing, continuing coming out. Eh? After going to many hospitals, Omowot was later advised to visit the Uganda Cancer Institute. He is still undergoing tests, which means that it has not been confirmed yet that he has cancer, but his condition remains worrying. Omowot grew up with his grandfather having lost his father at six months, which later caused his mother to run mad. Violet Namata, this is my story.